Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Ah, I'm, uh, I feel like kissing you. Thank you. <laughs> I like when you kiss me. Um, I'm studying uh, the Tao Te Ching and uh, going through it, and we're kind of sharing pieces. So mm -hmm. this is right out of the front of the text, and um, Karen and I are just going to talk about how we apply this to our life. It's interesting. So, under heaven, all can see beauty as beauty only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good only because there is evil. You know, it's, it, it's interesting. They're like the polarities, right? And um, <clears throat> life is all a matter of focus. And, you know, we, we don't like, really like to say there's good and bad. I mean, I don't think the thing you don't like about the quote is the ugliness piece, right? Right. Uh, um, you know, beauty versus ugliness. What one may think is is ugly, another may think is beautiful. Yeah, and right? and and, and uh, what I was saying is, don't think about physicalities. Right. It's ugliness in the world. Like there's hatred in the world. There, right. There's racism. There's Karen and I were, were talking about this. So um, we were in a beautiful snowstorm this last weekend and stuck on the highway couldn't go anywhere for at least an hour so the beauty was that we're focused on is all the snowflakes were falling on the trees first snow it's absolutely gorgeous um, there could be ugliness like someone could have got bent out of shape and mm -hmm. floored it and went around the cars and got an accident and caused an accident like the ugliness of that event so don't think about it like beauty and the beast right like you know so the the beauty of that situation you and i were sitting there watching the beautiful snowfall like in my earlier days I might be upset because I had to get somewhere and I'm being held up oh somebody slipped off the road up ahead you know the, all, all those issues instead we get to spend extra time together I pulled right. down a little side road and we kind yeah, of turned around we laid back and I put our heads back and we just took a, a little bit of a rest mm -hmm. and we watched the snow just fall beautiful. on all the vehicles around just waiting on the highway all stretched out right. in the middle of the gorgeous woods in Colorado so right. there wasn't really anything to get worked up over but that's the beauty. Which was our choice. Yeah. So we had a choice to get worked up over it, um, which I guess to see what you're saying um, is the, the you know, polarity in it, the ugliness or the, the anger in it or the frustration. But instead, um, you know, and, and cars were lined up going in both directions right. for well over a, an hour or two maybe. I'm not really sure. And we actually pulled off into a little enclave area and put the seats back and looked up at the you know at the sky and watch the snow fall and it was you know it was an opportunity right to stop and smell the roses so to speak but right. to stop and watch right. the snow fall right so right. In, in, yeah in this analogy i mean all of this stuff they're just little short phrases that are really like aha moments so yeah. it's the polarity so if it helps you understand if you don't like the word ugly which i really don't either i understand why you're saying that right but it's like um you don't know um you know, high if you don't know the lows, meaning if you're down at sea level or up at a mountain. So, you know, high versus low. Mm -hmm. You know, hot being out in the desert or cold being in Antarctica. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's basically right. the polarities of each end. You only know one because you know the other. Mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. Right. And you know, the, the, the beauty of that is we as human beings get to choose on which end of the spectrum or wherever on the spectrum to focus on. Right because it's all in existence. All of this stuff exists, Right. everything. So this side of the polarity from that side, right. like never mind good or bad, it's just, it all exists. You choose right. to focus on whichever piece you want, which is beautiful. Right? Absolutely, and you know, going back to traffic, because I know that so many people get frustrated in traffic and we've told this story before, but it, it really fits into a lot of different, you know, places in our videos. Um, you used to get really frustrated in traffic and used to drive a lot for work. And, um, you know, I pointed out to you that, you know, when you're stuck in traffic, think of the blessing. First of all, usually you're stuck because something, you know, has happened up ahead, right? Sure, yeah. Perhaps there's an accident. And so, you know, the, I always think when I'm stuck in traffic or, when something holds me up, or if I missed a flight, or something like that, that would normally really frustrate someone, I try to stop and be extremely grateful for having 
been put in that situation because I know I am being put in a situation of safety. I'm being taken out of harm's way instead of looking at, oh my gosh, I missed my flight or I'm sitting in traffic for four hours, I'm you know, gonna be late. Um, I am being kept out, out of harm's way. Somebody's looking out for me. Well, there's, right? a, there's always a silver lining. You know, yeah. we walked uh, yesterday down the road, they're doing some <clears throat> work, laying some fiber or something. And we said hi to a gentleman that was out there and he says, I'm, I'm just ready to go home. And I said, it's a beautiful day out here because it was a gorgeous sunny day. It was day. beautiful. He says, yeah, but it's really windy. I mean, it was really, it was really windy too. But the thing is, you can take the wind as, you know, it's blowing soot in your eyes or whatever it is or blowing things around. Or you can see the wind blowing the last few leaves on the tree. It's fall and it's blowing like these aspen leaves are right. all blowing in the gold. So it's just, it's, it's however you want to look at every situation, you have a choice. Right. You really have the choice. That's the point. That's another great example because I was looking around and the, the aspen leaves that are on the ground and, and laying in the grass had were swirling like, you know, golden rings and they were so beautiful. And, you know, it's a shame really that, and, and we do it too, everybody does it, that sometimes we choose what you're referencing to in this um, as the ugliness that we choose to expound upon that instead of the, the beauty of right, it, right? Right, right. And I always think that it's not necessarily that, you know, th that it was windy that was bothering him. Maybe he, you know, doesn't love his job. And, and you know, whatever it is, again, going back to our previous videos, whatever it is within is how you're reacting, yeah. um, you know, toward the rest and, of the And that's his choice, by the way, too. Yeah, that could be the perfect world for him. I mean, that's the beautiful thing everybody gets to choose. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's that. that sure. That's what's so wild about this. And if you really think about it at a, at a very deep level, you get to choose your life. Yeah. You get to choose how you feel about every split second of every day and what's going on when you when you talk through this. You right. Do? You get to choose. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Somebody's got a. If someone's so having much a, freedom that we don't even. Yeah. Realize. Somebody's having a real bad day. In a sense, it's their choice. Right. Now, I'm not going to say that you know, bad things don't happen, right? right? But it's what you focus on right. because there are good things happening. Right. Everything is happening, everything's in existence. You get to choose, that's yes. the point. So exactly. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I, I, I keep listening to it because I think it's, a, it's just another piece of literature mm -hmm. that is guidance. Like, again, all the information already exists out there. This thing was written you know, a long, long time ago. And I'm always amazed when you know, I love some of the Ben Franklin sayings or something like this is really old that still pertain today. It's amazing to me that someone wrote this. Beer is proof. Yeah, yeah. That's I know it's one yeah. of your favorites. Yeah, that's a good Ben yeah. Franklin. Yeah, Ben Franklin. <laughs> but there's so many years that have passed by since this was written and it's still so pertinent. I mean I I just find right. that amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things that have been written, you know, way, 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 way back when that are still pertinent. Yeah. Sayings, etc. It is, it's fascinating. I'm learning by proxy. Um, because I hear it in the background when uh, Jeffrey's listening to it. So yeah, so we just wanted to share that. So uh, I don't know if you read it, you should check it out. But uh, that's all we want to talk about today. Yeah, and also Wayne Dyer did a reading of it. Um, and I think it's on uh, it's on YouTube. If yeah. you check out his channel. Yeah, it's on, it's on there. It's a, there's a lot of options. If you just exactly. type in Dao exactly. Dae Jing, you'll see yeah. lots and lots of I options. just happen to love the way he reads. Oh, so. he's great. Yeah. yeah, he's great. Yeah. Um, God bless his soul, right? Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from the nest of Couple Mountain. Click off and subscribe if you haven't. We'd love to have you on board. Thanks, guys.